Hello everyone, my name is Ishan and I'd like to welcome you to the COVID-19 Response and Recovery Lecture Series. Also, I would like to welcome you to Ichni San, INS. INS is Australia's first multilingual dialogue and research centre focusing on constructive mechanisms through both scholarly literature and on field applications and experiences. Today's lecture is lecture number 10, in which we are going to focus on and analyze some sectors or some businesses, particularly in India, that have boomed or who have benefited from the COVID-19 pandemic. But before I do that, I would like to quickly explain with a few diagrams what an increase in demand or an increase in supply literally means so we understand what is actually happening to the businesses when we look at the examples later on. So for that, let us draw our regular demand and supply diagram. Now, what I'm going to quickly demonstrate, this is just the basics, you know, it's back to high school, back to basics with regards to this particular diagrams. So we have our price and our quantity on the X and Y axis respectively. And then let us draw a demand and supply curve as well. This is the demand curve and this one is the supply curve. So the point in showing this quickly is there are a lot of businesses in India and of course around the world who have benefited because of the COVID-19 situation. Now, things like the COVID-19 pandemic are called in economics, we call them as external shocks. And shocks are usually bad for the market, but sometimes they're also good for certain industries and certain businesses. And this lecture is particularly focusing on this particular external shock of the, the COVID-19 pandemic and of course the restrictions that followed um, as a response by different governments, how this particular situation has actually benefited a few businesses. Now when this actually happens, we say that it is beneficial for the business and the demand for that business has increased. Now this increase in demand is shown by the shift in the demand curve to the right. So if this is our demand curve, let's use another color. This demand curve will shift to the right. So let's say this particular demand is for a particular business. Um, I'll, I'll be going through a big list of businesses who have benefited, but let's say this is the, the new demand for that particular business who has benefited the situation. So with this new demand, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a new equilibrium as well. If you checked the older equilibrium, this was the older equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. And now we're going to have a new one. So let's call this the old old equilibrium price. And this is our equilibrium quantity. Equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity do not mean that that's the, that's the actual price at which things are being sold or that's the quantity at which something is being produced. It literally means uh, it's a hypothetical ideal situation, so an ideal price and an ideal quantity at which the market clears. So free market is um, expected to clear by itself, not having any shortages or surpluses at a very specific hypothetical ideal price and quantity. So with that particular combination, you don't have any shortage or surplus in the market. And that is called the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. What happens is the demand curve shifts to the right in this particular situation where certain businesses are benefiting. Now, there could be many reasons why a particular business would benefit. Suddenly people might realize 
that they require this particular new the product or service of this new business more in the pandemic situation compared to a regular situation so the demand may drop once the pandemic is over but while the pandemic is lasting people might realize the need the newfound need for this particular product or service so that would boost their demand. Sometimes it's the other way around as well. It is um, them not really benefiting anything, but their rivals getting a big hit. So if you are having a rival who is not able to sustain their business uh, or who are facing a close down, uh, as we have seen in the previous video, if their average variable cost is greater than their average revenue and they shut down the business, it's actually benefiting you because people are now going to turn to your business even if you weren't their initial choice. So sometimes it's the new attraction towards the business, sometimes it's the new need, sometimes it's the change in the market that requires people, uh, draws people towards your business, or even as I said just now, it could be the other way around where your rivals are suffering, or they have um, a situation that is not so favorable for them, which in turn helps you with your demand. So here we see that the demand for a particular business is increasing, the demand curve is shifting to the right. Now, as a result, we're also going to see a change in the market equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. We see that the equilibrium price actually increases and the equilibrium quantity also increases in the situation. So if you're looking at a free market, what we'll actually see is that the new equilibrium price at which the market clears uh, will be higher than what it was before. So it doesn't mean necessarily that the selling prices will increase, but it might happen. So this is the new equilibrium price. It means all the popular products that have suddenly gained momentum, that have really got this new demand, uh, will see an increase in their prices. They will also see an increase in their production. So this is a new equilibrium quantity. There you go. So let's let's quickly um, plot these as well. See, one and two, one and two. So what has happened is the equilibrium quantity has increased and the equilibrium price has increased as well. And this is the change that we will see in the market eventually because individual businesses in the market uh, of a perfect competition are price takers. So what's gonna happen now is because the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity for these particular products that are becoming more and more popular, both have gone up eventually. Uh, the individual businesses will follow this trend and in order to clear the market, they might increase their prices, but what they make available would also increase. So it's a good news for these particular sectors. So this is the technical part that is happening in the industry. Now let's look at the fun stuff. So in the fun stuff, we are simply going to now look at those particular businesses that have benefited in this particular COVID-19 pandemic situation. Before I actually um, show those particular businesses, what comes to our mind, you know, uh, what what particular industries or marketplaces, businesses you reckon would have really benefited in this situation? We know e-commerce is really picking up their game. They are the ones, not each and every business in e-commerce, but a lot of e-commerce businesses have benefited because of things going online because people are now actually moving online to do their shopping and not just in this particular pandemic but even going ahead people might get accustomed uh, habituated to this particular online shopping habit because of the COVID-19 situation those who were initially not into online shopping might feel that online shopping is the way to go and um, online shopping might get an increase in their demand as well. We have already seen that Amazon is adding 100,000 new jobs. So that is one lakh new jobs just to manage this extra demand. Some other marketplaces are struggling to add the capacity. For example, um, Ocado, which is an online grocer, um, they have suspended their new orders until they can clear their backlog. But otherwise, you know, many are actually benefiting as well. So let's have a look at the ones who are benefiting. All right, so what do we see? Uh, we are not gonna see in this particular chart um, the net change in expected media consumption among um, Indians in the two weeks following March 30th. So to keep it very simple in the COVID-19 situation in India, 
um, which particular businesses have really gotten that boost okay what has been the net change in their consumption so this is basically an increase in demand like i showed on the previous diagram for in different categories so online uh, watching online videos, this industry, this particular field, has seen a 60% increase in demand. Of course, people are home and they would a lot would watch the, a lot of videos online. Watching TV shows or movies has seen 57% increase. So a very neck and neck competition as far as the increase is concerned. Watching linear TV has been 48%. Engaging in social media has also seen an increase in demand for 48 in for, uh, by 48%. Chatting and texting, good old chatting and texting has gone up by 48% as well. Playing video games, we have heard a lot of video game companies have really got that boost. In Australia or in some Western countries, that market has really, um, uh, actually that, that market has seen a higher growth than watching TV or engaging in social media or chatting or texting, but this is for the Indian market. So in the Indian market as well, playing video games has seen an increase in demand by 11%. And then of course, the good old uh, reading books and magazines that I prefer as well, that has also increased by 3%. So a lot of people going on to social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, all of that, you know, that has seen an increase in demand by 48%. A lot of people watching Ramayan and Mahabharata as well that have seen watching TV or movies that uh, increase in demand has been seen by 57%. And of course, we all know Netflix has really, really got an increase in demand. Their revenue has gone up by millions of dollars. So that shows that increase in demand by 60% right at the top. It's not just these, but a few apps that are very popular in India. Those apps have received massive new number of downloads as well. Any guesses which apps uh, in India have uh, really gained momentum or have benefited? Would you like to guess? If you like to guess with uh, the person watching this lecture with you, pause the video, have a guess, and then uh, replay, okay? uh, resume playing. So here we go. Arogya Setu app got the most number of downloads um, from April 8 to 14. So we are looking at this particular period within the pandemic situation and we're looking at the most number of downloads. So 5.5 million downloads for the Arukya Setu app. Zoom, of course, many people are moving to Zoom for their lectures. So Zoom has received a boost in downloads as well. So 4.2 million downloads for Zoom. Ludo King, I don't play it, but it's an online game. That app has also been very popular. 3.8 million downloads. Carom Pool, TikTok. Many would have felt TikTok is right at the top, right? But apparently not. Ludo King and Carom Pool have higher downloads than TikTok. Then Google Pay for online paying, Uvideo and WhatsApp. These were the ones that also saw a lot of downloads in this particular period. What astonishes me is I hear the how WhatsApp is so popular in India, but here I can see that 1.8 new downloads for WhatsApp took place in this particular period. So now we have in India more uh, an additional 1.8 million people using WhatsApp. So excellent, there you go. Good on you, WhatsApp. Um, apart from these, we are also going to quickly look at a few tech companies who have benefited in this particular situation. Now in the light blue shade, what you see is, um, what the companies, uh, what the revenue they had last year at the same time. And in the dark blue, you can see what's happening in this year. And you can see for most of these top tech companies, the revenue has increased. So Amazon has seen an increase by 26%, Apple by 1%, not much, but by 1%, Alphabet by 13%, Microsoft has seen an increase by 15% and Facebook has seen an increase by 18%. The biggest gain by Amazon that was by 26%, you know, their annual revenue in this, uh, the, the, not the quarter one, the revenue in the first quarter was $59 billion at this time last year. Now it is 75.5 billion. So uh, while Apple hasn't seen that much increase, we have seen um, Amazon really getting that very high increase. Facebook as well, it goes without a doubt. We have seen before how Facebook is uh, uh, among the social media networks that have seen an increase in demand. And then of course, Microsoft Alphabet, which have followed.
Now let's come to the interesting part. And once again, we can play the guessing game. So there are a lot of products that have seen a sudden interest by online shoppers. So we have seen on one of the slides before that overall from the sector or the field point of view, online shopping has seen a huge increase in demand. But what particular products, which particular um, things are people buying more? And where has the interest suddenly spiked? It has gone up. Um, so would you like to guess? Um, I'm about to show you all the products that have seen a sudden increase in demand through online shopping. So are you ready? The first one, dumbbells, work out, okay? So dumbbells have seen a 725% increase in sales. 725% increase. That is massive. Would you like to guess which is the other one? Until you're guessing which is the other one, why do we think dumbbells have gained um, an increase? Because obviously a lot of gymnasiums have closed down, parks have closed down. So people going for outdoor running are not able to work out. People working out in the parks cannot do so. People going to the gyms to lift weights cannot do so. So here you go order the dumbbells and work out at home. So that's really seen an increase. It's also good, uh, it just gives us a good sense of understanding that the world is not buying cigarettes online. Instead, the, in, the increase in sales is through dumbbells. So it shows that we are heading towards the, the fitness industry has gained a lot of momentum. You know, people are getting healthier and more aware about the health concerns. So this is very good news overall for the society. Ready for the second one? Vitamin C gummies. So these are like those chewy uh, chocolates. There are chocolates technically, chewy gummies. That's what they're called, confectionery. So that has seen an increase by 532%. Uh, one of my former students uh, who used to be at Latrobe has actually gone in, back in India and has started his own business. His uh, vitamin C gummies are called Goli, G-O-L-I. And he was in touch recently and he said how his company has also received a big boost in online demand. So there you go. Vitamin C gummies. This is mostly because people want to stay healthy. They must have read online how they should keep their immunity strong and vitamin C is the way to go. So these gummies have really seen a big spike in the demand. 532% increase. Ready for the next one? Any guesses what it could be? powdered milk. So powdered milk has seen an increase by 516%. This is mainly because of some panic buying as well and due to the unavailability of fresh milk. Many people are getting worried that the milk that would be um, delivered or they purchase which is fresh milk could be contaminated, could, could cause um, them to get sick. Now this is what people might be believing. So a safer option would be pre-packed milk powder which they can simply prepare at home and stay safe. So that could be one of the reasons why this has seen an increase by 516%. Next one, bidet. Now this is very interesting. We know all what bidet is, the ones that we use in the toilets. They also have seen a boost in uh, their online shopping by 379%. I will leave it to all of you to keep guessing why the, the bidet sales have increased, but there you go. The next one is bread maker. So bread makers have increased by 374%. Uh, many people are taking to baking cakes. Many are using their ovens and microwaves while others are preferring to buy an actual bread maker in which you can put the dough, you can put the powder actually, the flour, and you can add the ingredients and you get a bread ready. So that has seen an increase by 374%. Also external monitors because a lot of people are moving to working from home, having their good old computers is not working, many require multiple screens, sometimes they are having uh, multiple members of the family who have to now work at the same time in the house, so that's why the demand for external monitors has also increased by 160%. Also freeze dried food, so this is like dried berries and dried nuts, um, goji berries for example which are dried, but uh, using the freeze dry technique which is considered to be very healthy. Now this increase has been particularly be seen in the western countries but also has seen an increase in India, so this one uh, the, the demand for these particular products have gone up by 131%. And of course, the mouse. How could we do without it? Computers, computer screens, and mouse have also seen an increase. Now, some of you must be wondering, why don't people already have a mouse? Well, many people just prefer to use the 
uh, use the pad, you know, on their laptops for doing the work. But when your work increases significantly and when you're doing more work online than ever before, then you might feel the need to have a mouse for ease, you know, for doing the work. And this is very evident. Mouse for a laptop or for a computer has seen an increase in the demand by 85%. So how about all of you have um, you seen an increase in demand for certain products in your household, which I haven't mentioned. What I mentioned here was for the overall market. But of course, each and every household is different. So was your household a bit different? Were there certain items that you had a spike in your demand, um, which wasn't covered here, which is not going in, in tune with the market? Or do you feel, yes, uh, most of you also saw an increase in demand in your houses for these particular products. Make sure you write your responses on the YouTube videos comment section and also make sure you like and subscribe to this particular uh, YouTube channel because there are a lot of exciting events lined up in the future. If you click on the bell icon, you'll also get notifications when I upload my video. So thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care and stay safe.